All right, this is yet another integral, and this is an integral dealing with trig functions. So if you would, take the time and see if you can try this on your own. All right, when you do trig functions, you want to use properties of the trig functions, or you want to see if you can do something else. Now in this case, you notice this is with respect to theta. Notice this. What's the derivative of sine theta? Yeah, positive cosine theta. What do you have here? Positive, positive cosine theta, d theta. So what you can do here is substitution. So I'm going, to repl I'm going to substitute sine theta with you. And what is the derivative of sine theta? It's du, yeah, cosine theta d theta. Now, what you can do is one or two things when you plug it in. Either you can just take this whole thing and plug it in. You can do that if you want. Or you can take this and solve for d theta, get the cosine over here, and replace d theta with this, and then sine theta with this. It's totally up to you. I'm just going to replace it. So this right here is my du this right here, just the sine theta, is going to be my u. So my integral is going to be u raised to the fifth power du. And when I do that, I get u to the six over six, right? I'm just applying the power rule, plus c. But what I have to do when I do substitution I have to back substitute. So I have to take this sine theta and plug it in. So it's going to be sine to the 6 theta over 6 plus the constant of integration. And that's it. That's all you have to do. Always remember whatever uh, variable that you're using with when you're integrating that's the variable that you want to end up with so when you do substitution you're always gonna back substitute to get the variables that you want alright so that's it